Many of our customers ask us, what are the different processes of manufacturing screws? Well, basically the first most important criteria is the surface. You can roll screws, which is basically a cold forming process, um, whereby the material is deformed under immense pressure, which is a perfectly fine process for fasteners, like screws, you know. But certainly these screws, or like cold deformed roll screws, are not good as components for machining applications because they are never completely straight. They're like a slightly like a corkscrew, which leads to a higher wear and tear. The surface of a screw in a, in a machining component should not be too smooth, because otherwise you can just imagine, you, you take two sheets of glass and press them against each other, and every liquid is squeezed out between them. And that's exactly what happens with, between a screw and a nut, for example, in a lifting jack. And that's the last thing you want. You don't want the lubrication to be squeezed out. That's extremely dangerous. That can lead to the stick slip effect and the cold welding of your complete application. We manufacture our screws in an interrupted cutting process, which leads to a slightly uneven flank surface. And that's exactly what you need for heavy lifting applications. Because in the valleys of these waves, that's where the lubrication is stored. And that's what you want, so it's not being squeezed out. On this photo, you can clearly see what I mean. This photo was taken from a thread surface after a 12-ton lifting jack was running over it several times. In some areas, you see there's a flattening. In some areas, there's nothing. So in those areas, the lubrication could flow quite freely. And only in these areas where you can see the flattening was all the pressure applied. This can lead to a much higher lifetime of the complete system. And that's exactly what we can provide you with our screws.